So it's Saturday morning and I'm doing a tire change on my logging cart. I'll show you how bad it needed a tire change. It's cold, rainy, and uh, wet this morning and it's much needed rain for Nova Scotia. Uh, we've had a couple of weeks of really dry weather and we've got some crazy wildfires burning in the province right now. So today's, uh, today's a godsend for uh, for uh, the dry weather so anyway we're uh, changing the tire this morning and uh, that's what we're up to So what's happening with this logging cart, I've got uh, a couple of bent wheels, like the bent, the axle's bent, and uh, the bushings and the bogey wheels are getting worn out, so my wheels, when I load up the logging cart, my wheels tend to, you know, flop to a side, and so it wears the tires really quick. So I just put old tires on it for now, because they wear real quick, but I'll show you what goes on here. So this one's okay. I replaced it before, but this guy, you see how the inside wears because it, it moves this way. Anyway, he's real worn out. And there the wires are showing. So I got to go get a load of firewood for someone and I got to go get some logs now that the, uh, the rain has come. But I know if I go get a load of wood with that tire like that, I know I'll have a flat. I tube these tires. So uh, we're going to take this in the shop and we're going to change it. So a couple of years ago, uh, a friend uh, of mine and myself, we went halves and we bought uh, the tools to change tires. I'll show you what they are. I mean, we're, we're changing tires often enough on either carts, trailers, or the tractors. So uh, to have to borrow those tools or uh, bring it to a dealer or a, a garage to get, you know, tires changed, uh, it costs some money after a while, so we just went out and we bought the tools. So I'll show you what, what they are here. So that first one I bought myself, that's just a little tool to screw on to the, uh, the tire valve so that it doesn't pop into the rim. But these two are tire spoons or pry bars to take your tire off your rim. And this third one is uh, you pound it and it's to break the, uh, the bead on the tire so uh some very handy tools and we've used them quite a few times so it came as a set you can get a another spoon too if you want it just holds the tire but uh 
I'll uh, I'll show you how to do it here. Here's another tool you'll need to uh, deflate the uh, tire. So the valve stem, you have to take the inside of the valve out. You have to screw it out and that'll let all the air pressure out. That's that little tool. There, now that all the air pressure is released from the tire, we're gonna go around that bead and break that bead with this tool. So you just go around the bead. Now for the other side. and soap, lots of lubrication. That's the secret.
if you have tubes in your tires, you have to be really careful not to drive your tools too far in there when you're prying your, your uh, bead over your rim because you'll burst, you'll bust your, uh, you'll tear the, the tube inside that tire. So you have to be really careful. This is an example where I would need another one of these spoons, but it's okay, I can do with a screwdriver. <clears throat> He's coming. We're almost there. And we're there.
There we go. So we got the uh, new tire on. That's good. That'll be peace of mind for when I go get some wood. I know I won't have a flat. That uh, that other tire was gone. So anyway, I put some pressure on it. Looks good. I, uh, you know, for tubes, I tube most of my tires. Uh, the all of my tractor tires have tubes. I've got liquid in them, ballast and uh, these trailer tires i find if you break a bead or something uh you can disassemble it you can take the tube out and you can put a patch on the tube and you know put it back in the tire i mean tires are expensive even tubes are expensive uh so we do all the work mostly ourselves uh taking them apart and stuff I mean, now if you're going to bring it to the shop take the time to bring it to a guy to you know break the bead off and uh you know, you're talking 40, 60 bucks. I don't know now. So uh, <clears throat> we've done it many times and those tools have paid for themselves. So uh, we do the work ourselves. Um, it's a bit time consuming and it's a little bit of hard work, but uh, it, you can do it. And uh, so, yeah, so we tube most of our tires and you can put a patch on a tube and away you go. So we got that tire change complete. I'll show you what's going on with the wheels on this trailer and I'm gonna have to do uh, some modifications later on. I'd like to rebuild this logging cart. Uh, some hoses need to be replaced, it needs a coat of paint and uh, like any other machinery that you have, uh, you know, you need to do a little maintenance and upkeep. But anyway, yeah, tires changed anyway. Well, we're gonna need to change a few more tires here, I'll show you. So here's the tire that we just changed and if you can uh, see if you see here it's hard to tell but those wheels they're they're bowed this way so is this guy here you can sort of tell and at some point you know the axle here may have been bent or I may have gone in a hole and it twisted that wheel so when I'm loaded up those wheels you know they flatten out like that but anyway, this is the new tire that I put on. It's got a nice thread on it. This will be good. This one here is pretty good. They, uh, they're a 16 inch tire, so not too many vehicles have 16 inch tires anymore. Now these guys, they probably have to be changed soon as well. here and here but you know that's on the sidewalls it's okay as long as I don't hook them that guy too yeah anyhow 
we're good for uh, for now.